Hi everyone, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery here. And today what we're gonna talk about is showing adjusters what a line item includes and then being able to print a short synopsis of that and add it to the end of our reports or send it as an attachment in an email to the adjuster. So let me show you how to do that. Let's go take a look. So recently, we've been having adjusters tell us that Ridge and Starter is included in the line item in Xactimate. And I know that we've been hearing that for a long time, but they literally said that in Xactimate, it says at the line item level that Ridge and Starter is included in the material. So what we did, of course, is went into an estimate here and pulled up the line item. We're going to use RFG 300S today, the laminate style shingle, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up the, what's called the click for detail. So you have to be in an estimate, you have to click on the line item itself, and then you have to hover over this this picture here called the, the click for detail. Sometimes you won't see this because maybe one of these other tabs is selected. If you work with unit prices a lot or if you are um, you know adjusting material, whatever you're doing here in your unit price, whenever you go to your next subsequent uh, line items, it'll only bring up unit price. So if you're not seeing your item image or your click for detail, be sure to select that tab. So now that I can see it, I'm going to click on the picture there or click for detail, and it's going to give me my whole rundown of what exactly is included in the laminate shingle line item. What I'd like to do is take it a step further and go ahead and print this. So I'm going to click print, and what print does is open up a new window. So when you think print, you think, ah, it's gonna, something's gonna come out of my printer. No, it brings up a different screen that shows you exactly the materials that are included in this line item. So if you notice here, you've got your, your material, you've got your RFG, that's gonna be your uh, hourly rate, your R labor, you've got your material, which are your nails, and your material RFG 300, and that's the shingle. I do not see any RFG ASTR, minus whichever one you use for starter. I do not see any material um, RFG ridge cap. Okay, so this shows you exactly and shows you the unit prices too. So there's nothing hiding in there. There's nothing hiding in RFG 300. If there was starter and ridge, I would argue they should include it here at the line item level. Also, we can take a look at the actual definition. It says it includes laminated composition shingles, roofing nails, and installation labor. They may argue that laminated composition shingles means ridge and starter is included, but what I want to show you here is that from Xactware, it does not show that there is ridge and started defined in the line item. So at least you can bring them here and show them that ridge and starter isn't included in the definition. If it said ridge and starter here, then yeah, I'd concede that they are giving us ridge and starter but it doesn't say that. So this is just one of many uh, click for details that, that I use. Another one would be for your the setup of the ladders with Jackson Planks. If you click for detail there and print that, you can see that they give you all this equipment assembly, right? But they do not have a scaffold labor here. Notice that the type here is equipment. If you look over back onto our RFG line item, you would have seen the R labor. There is no um, scaffold labor here. This is all equipment. And so I like to use this as an example because it's so blatant that there is no la uh, ladder and jack set up here, and there we either need extra labor hours or some kind of consideration for setting up those ladders with jacks in place. So to take it a step further, I would go ahead and click for detail and click on print. So then I would go save it as a PDF on my computer. So if we go to file in the top left corner and go to save as, we can actually save this um, ladders with jacks, and I can send this to the adjuster. Now, what I do is I wouldn't just send it as an attachment, which is fine. If you want to do that, you can send it as a separate attachment, but I like to attach it at the end of my report. So uh, for the example of the RFG 300, if you go look at my report macro here, which I talk about report macros in another video, you can find the link to that down below somewhere here. I'll put a link to that other video. But I can go to my report macro and use my print detail macro that I've set up. And if we view the last page of this PDF report, I've got the RFG 300 listed here. So I can, whenever the adjuster receives my estimate, we can immediately go here and have the conversation if you'd like that there is no ridge and starter included in the definition from Xactware. So that's what I like to do. I like to include that here. I could also uh, throw in that ladders with Jackson Planks uh, equipment 
click for detail as well if I wanted to. So you can make this as long or as short as you want, depending on what you'd like to include. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this video, please be sure to, well, like it, give it a thumbs up, and go ahead and subscribe for our Tuesday Tech Tips. Also, if you want to know more about XM8 Mastery, visit our website at www.xm8mastery.com. See you next week.